What's up guys, it's Josiah and welcome back to my LEGO channel. In today's video, I'm going to be going over kind of a controversial top topic in the LEGO community. It's about the new holes that are on clone troopers, so let's get into it. Now you might have clicked on this video because you're a LEGO Star Wars fan, or you're just wondering what this is all about. Well, back in 2020, LEGO released the brand new 501st clone trooper in a set called the 501st Battle Pack. Now, this clone trooper was kind of a mix of the Clone Wars style and the realistic version of a Phase 2 clone trooper. And this set was one of the most popular LEGO Star Wars sets of all time. But there was one flaw with the 501st clone trooper, and it was that there were no holes on the sides, so you couldn't put a visor or an antenna on the side. But then, two years later, in 2022, LEGO made up for their mistakes, and in the 212th ATTE, put holes on the sides of the clone troopers. LEGO probably thought this would quiet the fans and resolve the problem, but it really didn't. It just made them more mad because they had put the holes above where they were supposed to be. Now many people may ask, why did LEGO do this? It might have been to line up the eyes where they were supposed to be, but I think they could have done a better job. As you can see when I put the helmet side to side, you can see that there's a hole above where it's supposed to be, and they pushed down the other hole lower. And when you look at it from the front angle, you just know they didn't do it correctly. And in 2023, they're going to come out with another 501st set with the exact same holes as this one. Well, that's all I got to say, guys. Comment down below what you guys think. Do you think they look right or do you think they should change them? Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.